Malkunyu siya pambili vuga mtuagazi pagama mtuagazi. Aithomi thasele kusali ndoen. It is our desire to make it known that there is no going back on the call of our independence. It is independence of a country no one has ever denied its existence prior to its demise under conquest by the British in 1894 and the subsequent amalgamation with Mashonaland British Protectorate in 1923 after the wise only referendum. Our call is as clear as the sun rising from the east. The heroes will liberate the people. Democratic socialism should never stand on the side of colonialism and racialism. In each individual instance, we must stand together as Mtogazans. We shall fight for our cause, whether gagged or bound with hands in our back. We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength. We shall defend our nation, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight in the bush, Emma Kusuini, if need be. We shall fight in the dark. We shall fight on the borders of Mtwagazi to drive the colonialists away from our land. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. And if, which I do not for a moment believe, our nation was subjugated and starving, then Mtwagazians will carry on the struggle until in course school time. The new world with all his power and might, will step forth to the rescue and the liberation of the old. Let tyrants fear. We place our chiefest strength and safeguard in the loyal hearts and goodwill of our fellow countrymen. And therefore, Mtoga's Liberation Front comes amongst you at this time, not as for recreation or sport, but being resolved in the midst and the heat of the battle to live or die amongst you all, to lay down for our ancestors, for our Mtwagazi kingdom, and for our people that were slaughtered in the broad daylight and left for vultures while some were buried in mass graves after the Kukuraundi atrocities. Our honor and their blood that was split in the midst of the day. Mtwagazians have the heart of a lion. This is our hope. Failure is not an option. Let's all look in the eyes of our children. With this faith, we will be able to hew out of the mountain despair, a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jungling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. Lack of cooperation and dialogue by Zimbabwe establishment can only lead to continued conflict and strife with disastrous consequences to, to the international scene as a world, to continued intolerable conditions for millions of people, and to continued human suffering of Ntwaga's nation. This system of continued colonialism has no future. It is a disgrace, and to the present, and it must soon become an evil of the past. Vuga mtuagazi, pagama mtuagazi, aishomi thasele, usali ndoen.